Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. I'm here in Barcelona, Spain, where each year an event called Mobile World Congress takes place. It's often dubbed the year's biggest smartphone show, the world stage where in the past, many of your favorite smartphones made their debut. Unfortunately, that's not happening this year. Due to the coronavirus, this year's show was canceled last minute. But nothing is stopping the tech industry from moving forward, from the established leaders to disruptors seeking to make their mark. One of those companies is Oppo, who is partnering with us to make this video possible. Today, they launched a new flagship smartphone which hopes to cement their status as the challenger to beat. And it's that phone they're teasing over there. Today, we'll take a look at the new Oppo Find X2, tell you why we think it's important, and what this tells us about a future imagined by Oppo. While Oppo is known for its dominance in the mid-range space, this Chinese company knows that in order for it to be taken seriously as a leader in the industry, it needs to be seen as a leader in the premium space also. Not an easy task to do. The Find X was Oppo's first major attempt to break into the premium space. A few years ago, Gadget Match attended their swanky press launch under the iconic glass pyramids of the Musée du Louvre in Paris. That phone was the first of its kind to sport a cool pop-up camera module that spanned the entire back of the phone. At the time of its launch, phones trying to be bezel-less had ugly notches. The original Find X was Oppo's answer to that problem. It's a major statement from Oppo. They're saying, we're not just a Chinese OEM, we're a global brand capable of innovative things. Not that they don't have a history of innovation. Their very own Finder was the world's thinnest phone in 2012. The Find 7 from 2014 was the first phone with a Quad HD display. More importantly, that phone also debuted with VOOC fast charging and is what ushered in the ultra fast charging tech we enjoy today. Most iconic, at least for me, was the Oppo N1, which had a rotating camera an idea we've seen toyed around with recently. But while I wrote about the N1, I really started following the company closely in 2015, around the time of the F1 and the F3, where Oppo made their mark as the selfie expert, a marketing strategy that cemented their dominance of the mid-range segment in markets like China, India, and Southeast Asia. I was also present when Oppo showed off their 5X optical zoom tech, the first to use a periscope mechanism to push the boundaries of zoom on a smartphone. Two years later, they followed it up at MWC 2019 with 10 times zoom. They've also been heavily invested in the augmented reality space, showcasing their own AR glasses late last year. And not to be left out of the 5G conversation, the company has been investing plenty of resources in 5G technology. In short, there's been plenty of experimentation and not only a capacity to dream, but also to execute. With the launch of the Find X2, however, Oppo is taking a different approach, tempering its desire to showcase more of its experimental tech and instead delivering a well-rounded high-end phone that's solid in every respect. The Find X2 exudes a different kind of sophistication that's refreshing to see. From its sleek exterior that comes in either a ceramic finish or this lovely leather one, something I've been waiting to see on more phones. A big focus area for Oppo was to deliver a superior display, and that on the Find X2 Pro is the creme de la creme where displays are concerned. It's got a QHD plus resolution, edge to edge curved glass, and a 120 hertz refresh rate, delivering edgy looks, high resolution content, and buttery smooth transitions. Gamers will also appreciate a 240 hertz sampling rate for those who are seriously competitive. What's a flagship phone without a solid camera? This year, Oppo worked closely with Sony to customize its own sensor for the Find X2 Pro. The standard 48 megapixel camera is the first in the world to use the co-designed IMX689, which has an extra large image sensor that lets in more light for stunning night shots like this one. 
Even more impressive are the improvements made to autofocus. 100% of the pixels on the sensor can be focused, giving the Find X2 Pro the ability to lock down on subjects regardless of where they are in the frame, whether you're shooting during the day or at night. The Find X2 Pro also has a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a telephoto lens, which also supports 10x hybrid zoom. Here are some sample photos. Everywhere else on its resume, the Find X2 Pro delivers. It's powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 processor, has 12 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. It supports 5G networks and has a 4,260 milliamp hour battery, backed up by super fast top ups with a bundled 65 watt Super Voop 2.0 charger that gives you a full charge in just 38 minutes. If you want to learn more about the Find X2 Pro, you can click over here to watch our unboxing and review video. So what's next for Oppo? Apart from partnerships with the likes of Wimbledon and Lamborghini that keep it relevant and trendy, the company is committed to investing a whopping $7 billion in R&D. We've already seen bits and pieces of what they've been working on. At MWC Shanghai 2019, we saw the first glimpses of an under-display selfie camera, a much-awaited solution that would rid us of that selfie punch hole for good. Late last year at their Eno Day event, we also heard them talk about 5G, augmented reality, and IoT. While the specifics aren't ironed out yet, it's clear that their direction is not to be just a smartphone manufacturer, but to create an ecosystem of hardware, software, and experiences. You can see some of that in today's announcement, like their new 5G CPE device for 5G at home and their first LTE smartwatch with smartphone-like features, including an edge-to-edge -edge AMOLED display and VOOC super fast charging. And finally, and I think this is a very important piece of the puzzle, their entry into even more markets around the globe. Following its continued expansion in Europe, where partnerships with 10 global carriers has allowed it to expand to 11 countries, with five more coming soon, Mexico and Latin America are already in the pipeline. Fingers crossed they make a play for the U.S. market very soon. And that was everything you need to know about the Oppo Find X2, what it tells us about the past and the future of the smartphone industry at large. And if you ask me, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. There is definitely space for more challengers and more players in this field also means better technology for us all. From here in Barcelona, Spain, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.